All right. So this term, we're going to talk about the cell. Last term, we were talking about the, about the uh, ecosystem and relationships in the ecosystem. So who guys can tell me how can we observe cells? How can we observe them? What, would, what element would you use to observe cells? The microscopic. Yep, the microscope. We use the microscope. There's no other way. You see cells all around. They are all around you. You are made up of cells, but you cannot see them, right? You cannot. You have to use a microscope. So we're going to explain the main points of cell theory, explain how microscopes work, compare prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. So that's what we're going to do now. But today, we're going to go until the second part that explains the microscope. OK, so the discovery of the cell. Uh, a long time ago, Anton van Leeuwenhoek was, was the first to observe living microorganisms. He used a microscope. The first living organism that was observed, well, it was not alive, actually. It was uh, the cork of a, of a tree bark, okay? El corcho de un árbol. It was the first thing that was observed it, because it seemed really, it was similar to the cells where, where the monks lived in the past. So they call it cells. That's why the name is cells. Cells means celdas, donde, donde dormían los monjes. It was similar to that. That's why they call it cells. Mm, they were, this age was the first thing that they observed under the microscope. Yep. Yep. Can you turn, turn the microphone off, please? Turn the microphone off. Okay, great. Uh, now, we're going to talk about the cell theory. The cell theory. So, first, you, you have to take notes, guys. If you have your notebook there, take notes of this. Listo, tomen nota de esto, por favor. The first thing is, the first uh, uh, step of the cell theory, or, or the first um, thing is, all living things are made up of cells. So, all living things, all of them, bacteria, fungi, uh, plants, animals, all of us are made up of cells, right? So that's the first thing to define a living organism. We are made up of cells. What you see here is a plant cell. These are plant cells. This is a tissue, a plant tissue. And I, I, I think this is a, a tissue of a leaf. Listo el tejido de una hoja. Yep, did you write that down? If you have questions, guys, just turn your microphone on and let me know. The next one is cells are the basic units of a structure and function in living things. So nothing can um, be alive without cells. Now, they cannot function if they have no cells. And cells made of structures. They are like building blocks. They are like the blocks uh, to build um, to build a building, yeah, right? Como los bloques para construir un edificio. That's the cell. So cells make organisms. That's why they call it, they are the units of function. I lost my, my, my thing. I lost the, the arrow. Now, new cells are produced from existing cells. No cells, no cells come from nowhere. All cells come from cells that lived before. So if you cut yourself, maybe you are, uh, using a knife to cook and you cut your skin, si cortan su piel. Then new cells are going to appear, but they come from other cells, right? So those are the basics of the cell theory. If you have to write them down, please do it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Just one minute to write it down. Lo escriben, por favor. Teacher Alejandro. Yep. Hello. Uh, I'm not of this class. I am 6D, but I have a little question. What's your question? We can 
imprimir el microscopio como las partes del microscopio? Yeah, yeah you can do okay. it. But, but, but don't, don't print the parts, do it. Print the microscope and, and draw the parts. Label the parts. Oh. Okay. Ready, guys? Okay, great. I don't see, wait, wait, wait. I don't see the, this thing. Yeah, now I see it. Now, we're going to talk the about the microscope. I say is, I, oh. The microscope. Uh, microscopes. So, uh, micro means small. It, it's a Greek. It's a Greek word. Word, sorry. Micro mean, means small, and scope means to look at. So, it's to look at small things. So, a microscope is an instrument that magnifies objects otherwise too small to be seen, producing an image in which the object appears larger. So, we can see a tissue here. The tissue is not, apparently, it's just a piece of something. But if you observe it under the microscope, you're going to see the cells. So what you see here is the cell wall, the cytoplasm, and the nucleus. Yeah? Most photographs of cells are taken using a microscope. And these pictures can also be called mi micrographs. So all, all the, all the um, um, objects you see with the microscopes, and the pictures are taken from the microscope, are called micrographs. It's not as micrographias. Imagines the microscope. Most microscopes use lenses to magnify the image of an object by focusing light or electrons. So this is a light microscope. So you use light right here. The light is going to appear, going to go up. And here you put your eyes on the ocular. And you can observe the cells. Yep. Any questions, guys, so far? Any questions? Do you have any questions? Teacher. Yep. We don't finish the other thing of the cells. Okay, sorry. Okay, one minute. I have a question. Yeah, what's your question? Um hey, you are going to send us the matrix of activities of the second term? Uh not all of them, just one per activity, okay? Uh, okay. Una por actividad. Eso es, chicos, eh, la, las matrices se van a ir renovando porque ustedes saben que no sabemos hasta cuándo va la cuarentena. Entonces, yo las voy, eso se va actualizando. ¿Listo? La matriz. Mister, I have a question. Yep. Yeah. Um, actually, many questions. Uh, first, first we have to left uh, two spaces for the matrix and for the decoration of the second term. Sorry again, again, please again. Uh, we have to let um, two pages for the decoration of the second term and for the matrix. Yeah, yeah, yeah please. Yeah. Okay. Sure. And the second one is that um, when you're going like to send us all of the grades from the first term. Uh, we we just finished last class last Friday. So I think uh, the open day is like next week. I don't know. Yep, until the open day. Okay, okay guys. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, next. So you know what the microscope is, right? You have the, these slides are on Phidias. Uh, I sent you a video to see how to get them from Phidias. El video que les envié, un tutorial que les envié por correo, en el mismo correo, Es como ustedes encuentran estas diapositivas y todo el material en Fidias. ¿Listo? Bien. Eh, now, can you turn that microphone off, please? What separates a basic microscope from a powerful machine used in a research lab? So, first, the two things to count on, to take into account, is magnification and resolution. So, what guys do you think is the difference? If you see this picture, what of this? This this dog is magnification. I mean, let's see this. This is magnification or resolution. This one. Resolution. Resolution. Why resolution? 
because is is a uh, is the is the is bigger the distance is like como que yeah. se cama. Yeah, it's focused, right? So you can focus it. So that's called resolution. This is magnification. You can make it bigger. But now with resolution, you can focus it, right? Like the cameras. It's like a camera. So magnification is a measure of how much larger a microscope or set of lenses within a microscope causes an object to appear. So you see, this is the dot. Now I'm going to magnify the dot. So I'm magnifying the nose and then bigger and bigger, larger and larger. But then I want to focus it. So I use the resolution. The resolution is the smallest distance by which two points can be separated and still be distinguished as separate objects. Yep. So you can observe this. Uh, these objects are distinguished. So you can here you can distinguish not just a blurry image, but you can distinguish the uh, the whole of the nose, right? From the other parts of the nose. That's what we call resolution. Now. Light or compound microscope. Please write this down. Write this down. Visible light passes through the specimen, the biological sample you are looking at, and is bent through the lens system, allowing the user to see a magnified image. Yep, so here, what you see here is a mirror. Some, uh, well, the old microscopes have a mirror here, but the new ones have um, like a light, a light source here. So the light goes up and goes through the image. Here is, you have the sample, the cells. And here you put your eye and you can see what's here. This, what you see here, is an uh, image that is, is seen using a light, light or compound microscope. Yep, so please write this down. Write it down uh, while I'm going to answer 6D qu uh, questions. Okay, guys, ready? Ready, can I go next? Can we go next? Next. One moment. Okay, okay, okay. All right, uh, electron microscope. So this is the comparison between the light microscope and the electron microscope. The electron microscope, of course, uses electron, electrons, right, a part of the, of the atoms. So electron microscopes differ from light micro microscope in that they produce an image of a specimen by using a beam of electrons. 
rather than a beam of light. So the image you observe here, this one is the light microscope image. Every little point, the, the purple ones, is a bacteria. It's a bacteria. But look, the, the electron microscope is more powerful. Yep, this is more powerful. You see a bacteria really clear. Si ven que se ven muchísimo mejor las bacterias en este que en este. Electron microscopes can be used to examine not just whole cells, but also the subcellular structures and compar compartments within them. Two types of electron microscopes. We have transmission and scanning. So transmission uh, and scanning differ just in, in some parts, but we, we're not going into that, yeah, deep into that. Any questions, guys, about the electron or the light microscope? No? Well, uh, the microscope, the light microscope is cheaper. Well, is way cheaper than the electron microscope. In Colombia, there are just a few uh, universities that have an electron microscope because it's very, very expensive. Okay? Look, these are micrographs. Ya saben, micrografías, imágenes de microscopio. So a micrograph uh, of an object seen through a microscope. So what do you think is here? What kind of microscope is this one? What do you think, guys? Light or light microscope or electron microscope? I think that is light microscope because it's not too much like exact. I think because the the, the other micro micro what micro microscopic yeah microscopic is like more exact. I think. Yeah, yeah. So the you're right, Isabella. The light this is the light microscope because uh, the image is very is smaller. Yep. Now, this one, these two are uh, electron microscopes. One is transmission electron microscope. Th this, the light goes inside the cell. So you produce some cuttings. Entonces cortan la célula hasta llegar a un punto donde puedan observar muchas cosas. ¿Listo? Este es un, electron, un ele microscopio de transmisión electrónica. Now we have this scan have electron microscope. Yep, what's your question? Um, how the scientists cut uh, the the cell? Uh, how the scientific scientists? What do you mean? Porque llamaron a la célula. Eh, uh, how? Cómo cortan la célula? Okay. Uh, that's a machine. That's a machine. You can you cannot be very precise using your hands. That's a machine that do that does it using laser. Listo láser, to cut it. Okay. I was thinking that uh, rayo, rayos láser. Yeah, yeah. So they cut it like that. Yeah, then you have it, the transmission. But the scanning electron microscope uh, shows the image in th at 3D dimension. Yeah, so you see the 3D dimension. Yep. Yeah. Uh, now, this is the light microscope. Now, uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna tell you what, uh, what the parts are. These are the oculars, yep. So the oculars is where you put your eyes. These oculars have a magnification, a kind of magnification. This one is the carrying handle. So guys, when you get a microscope, always, always take it using the handle. Don't take it from here, don't take it from here because you're gonna damage it. Use the handle. Now, oh, the revolving uh, nose, nose piece. So here uh, is to adjust the microscope to your, the, like this, the, the, um, the width of your, of your eyes. Yeah, how uh, to make it more comfortable for you to, to observe the objects. Now, this is the, the, the um, objective lenses, los, los objetivos. These have different magnification. One is, uh, amplifies the image four times, the other one is 10 times and then 40 times. Listo, cada objetivo amplía la imagen o cuatro, cuatro veces más grande, diez veces más grande, cuarenta veces más grande. 
o 100 veces más grande. ¿Ya? Yeah. Now, uh, this, the slide holder, is to hold the slides, to hold the sample. Then we have the stage, the condensed aperture level. So this is to adjust the light that gets into, into the, the cells. Uh, this is the light source. We have uh, this to focus the image for the resolution. We have the course of judgment and the final judgment. So one is to make it uh, closer to the objective and the other one is to, um, to focus it. We have the light intensity control. We can control the intensity of the light. Uh, but guys, we, we're going to practice it. Okay, so never mind if I'm saying many names and you don't understand them all. Or if you have questions, we're going to use a microscope and you're going to use it. Uh, of course, it's going to be a virtual microscope, but it's a really fun one. Look, so before we go to the, into that, so cells have different sizes. So we, we, we have this kind of sizes, please. Uh, the one that is important for me is this one. So write this one, the micrometer, el micrometro. Yep, so a micrometer is, so one centimeter is, is um, just a hundred of a meter. One millimeter is a, a thousand of a meter. One micrometer is a hand, is a one million of a meter. Listo? Entonces, una, una, caben un, un millón de micrómetros en un metro. Así de pequeño se van a observar las células midiéndolas en micrómetros. Cer certain units of measurements are used for tiny objects, such as cells. Look, so look. So we have here in this arrow is an unaided human eye. ¿Cómo lo podemos ver? Podemos ver hasta un milímetro. I'm sorry. Here is what a mic light microscope can observe. So less than one micrometer. But an electron microscope can see, an electron microscope can see more than that, from zero micrometers. So this is a chicken egg, you can see it. This is a cell that just can see using a light microscope. This is a cell that can be used, be seen using a light microscope, right? But here, the uh, virus, the DNA is, can be just observed using an electron microscope. Okay. Uh, now, any questions, guys, so far? Now, uh, we're going into uh, this website. Uh, you, you have this in a link in your, in your plan. Okay. Okay, this is the, sorry, this is not the image I was waiting for. But this is not the image. Wait, wait, wait. Let me open an email here because that's not the one. Okay, this one, I'm gonna send it again. So when you get there, so check that your flash player is allowed. So allow it. Welcome here for a tour. So you click, you, you click there for a tour and they, they teach you how to use it. So I start a tour, right? This simulation works very much like a real compound microscope. To succeed in getting a specimen into view, follow this sequence of steps. The checklist will help you keep track of steps you have completed. First, turn on the light. Click okay. here to learn how to do this. Okay, we are gonna turn the light on. Okay, control light. Turn on the light by using this switch. Then adjust the rheostat all the way to 10. Any additional light adjustments should be made using the iris diaphragm lever. Click here to learn how to select a specimen. Okay. We On the real microscope, you need to open the spring-loaded clip and fit the slide neatly into the corner of the slide holder. Then release the clip. For the simulation, all you need to do is click on the desired slide. Select a slide now and then click here to learn how to set the scope to low power. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna select this slide with onion group T, yep. 
So we're going to select it. So it's position in the microscope. Now, we're going to switch the objectives. That's the next Turn step. the ocular housing to select a lens. Yep. So we select Although the lens. Although it is not obvious from this angle, the lens in this back position is the one that is in the light path. Turn the ocular housing now to set the blue 4X lens into position. Okay, we're going to select the 4 Then into click position. here to learn how to move the specimen into the light path. Okay. We're going to learn how move to Move the slide in a forward-backward direction by turning this knob. Move the slide from side to side by using this knob. Continue adjusting until the specimen is centered over the circle of light. Listo, vamos a situar Then click here to learn about focus adjustments. Listo. Entonces vamos a, a situar el objetivo, nuestro, nuestras células, en este puntico que ven blanco. Si lo pueden ver, ¿cierto? So we could do, we do this. And we're gonna position ourselves. Okay, okay, okay. Right, right there. Okay, let me do it. Oh, God. Okay. There we have it. Listo, ahí ya lo tenemos. Bien. Now, adjust focus. We're not just the focus. There are two focus knobs. The coarse focus knob moves the stage rapidly. The fine focus knob moves it very slowly. Right now, what you want to do is use the coarse focus to move the stage as high as it will go. Do this now. Okay, we're not... Then click more. Okay, that's what we're doing. Yep. At this point, you are ready to look through the microscope for the first time. Click here to continue. Okay, we're gonna click here to continue. You can use the switch views button at any time to go back and forth between looking at the microscope and looking through the microscope. When you look through the microscope for the first time, you will most likely need to adjust the oculars. The goal is to get the two circles of light to merge into one. Click here for a demonstration. Okay. Now you try it. When okay. you've succeeded, click yeah. Adjust Focus. We did it. When looking through the microscope, use coarse focus only with low power. Starting with the stage at the top and with the 4X objective in place, adjust coarse focus down as slowly as possible until the image appears. Try this now. If the image does not appear after several tries, switch views and check to make sure your specimen is in the light path. Click Fine Tuning next. Listo, entonces, ahí ya vimos la imagen, apareció. The image appeared, right? So, using this, and of course we have to set, settle this thing and then adjust this one. Now we're gonna use the fine tuning, right? To make it more like clearer. So this is what we're gonna do. Can you see, guys? You can see the cells, right? This is the onion root, una raíz de cebolla. Now, the next, fine tuning, we did it. Use the fine focus knob to okay, improve we the clarity of your image. Use the XY controls to move the area of interest into the center of the image. Use the iris diaphragm to adjust the brightness of the image. Look. It is often necessary to readjust both fine focus and the iris diaphragm after switching objective lenses. Fine tune your image at low power now. Then click switch objectives. Now we're going to make the image bigger. Yep. Once you have the image well focused under low power, you are ready to move up to the next objective lens. Here is how it would look with the letter E as a specimen. First, you should position the area of interest in the center of the circle of light. For the purposes of this simulation, 
be sure you are inside the red circle. Recall that the lens in use is the one that appears toward the back of the objective housing. Okay, now we're gonna go. Chicos, no pueden ir de una vez del 4 al 100. Tienen que ir poco a poco porque hay que ir enfocando. Entonces, vamos del 4 al 10. Now, move this. The 10. Sorry, yeah, 10. Now we can focus again. So you can see the cells a little bigger, right? Now we go to the four. Sorry. Uh, sorry, doesn't work. No, that's not what I wanted. Okay, now, look, this is in four, right? So you can see the cells a little bigger and you, and you can focus them. Acá la pueden enfocar usando el fine adjustment. You can see it, right? And you can move to the image. You can move it. Yep, so you can see the cells. Each one of these is a cell. Now, we can use the 400, the 100, sorry. Okay, I don't know why it doesn't. Okay, great. Now we're going to focus it. We're going to use the light, more light, to focus it. So, guys, do you understand? Do you understand how to do it? Okay, yeah. no. okay that's the, be the best we can do. <laughs> yep, any questions, guys? Any questions so far? That's fine, that's fine, right? So you have different examples. You have a letter E, you have a bacteria capsule, and you have a chick smear. Tienen tejido humano, desde el, desde una mejilla humana, eh, cápsulas de bacterias, la célula de cebolla y la letra E. So you can do it. I'm gonna send you the link through the Google Hangouts, okay? And you can do it. I'm gonna send you the link here, right? Okay, here you have the link, and you can do it. Any questions, guys? Do you have any questions? Mister, I have a question. What question? Um, you're 